welcome to my humble restaurant in the rain. What can I get you? Thank you. Don't let all the rain get you down. See you again soon. Hey, come here a minute. Why? We want to talk to you. So talk. What do you do? Delivery driver. You're cloud punk, right? So you must be thinking you're pretty badass. If you say so. Why you be nice to her? She delivers to the spire. She don't respect us. Show me something to respect then. You're sassy, acting like you weren't afraid of us. I ain't. She don't know who she's talking to, Razor. She don't know how you got that name. Razor, are you a shaving robot? You don't gotta take that from her type, Razor. You gotta do something. Nah, I like her. She's got a big mouth like me. So you're both part of Block 4-0, right? You heard of us. I heard there's an android gang I should avoid. That's good advice. You don't want to get in our way. Why do you get such a bad reputation? We do a lot of things we ain't supposed to. Robbing people? Nah, much worse. Urban renewal, bitch! Oh, yeah! Wait, what? Urban renewal? Yeah, community project. Planting gardens on corporate waste ground. Turning old factories into playgrounds. Real hardcore shit. I mean, no, I don't get it at all. There ain't nothing in the Volus that will get you in more trouble than fucking with corporate property. We would be safer if we were straight murdering fools. Well, good luck, I guess. That sounds like a worthwhile thing for a gang to do. I just figured gangs in Navalis were a bit more... You assumed wrong, but that's all right. We ain't surprised they talk shit about us. Well, I won't. I hope you two never get caught. Fuck yeah! You was right, Razor. She's all right. You stay loose, Cloudpunk. We we'll see you later. We have his package, but will Lomo think we are undercover corpse We don't look like undercover corpse What would undercover corpse look like, Camus? I guess maybe like us. We have to act natural, not suspicious. Exactly. It is hard to act not suspicious when you are worried about being killed. You know what else doesn't help? Talking too much? You're learning fast, Camus.
Hey, nice to meet you, lady. Thanks for this. Y'all yeah, come back. What are you looking for? Thanks. Hey, come back any... Podcast, Cloudcast, Streamcast, Dreamcast. Thompson Media produces the audio content you want to hear. Here's what I can offer you today. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. You from the East, lady? You're good, but no corpse sack. Got it? Thanks. You folks from the East are good with me, but no sack. I'm here to deliver a package. Sure you are. Fuck off. Look, I need to get past. They're expecting me in the VIP area upstairs. Make it worth my while. How? I don't have much money. I don't want money. Get me some juice. Juice? Tram and all bottles. Corpsack aren't allowed to hold them. So if you bring me some, I know you ain't a cop and I can sell them. I brought your juice. All right, go ahead. Unauthorized street races have been reported in this sector. I'm the delivery driver. I have your package. You're not Carmine. He used to run my packages. He retired. Retired, eh? You know who I am, driver. Lomo? That's right. You bring me packages. No questions. No mistakes. We'll be friends. If you let me down, probably not. I understand. What's your name? Rania. Well... Rania, I have some advice for you. You want to hear it? Sure. You got a don't fuck with me look on your face. But those are some clean hands. In the city, you've got to adapt quick. All the shit in the world ends up in the sea. But we still swim in it. 
If you dilute anything enough, it becomes tolerable. You hear what I'm saying? Not really. The city moves real fast, and you got to move with it. You make a million choices a day to survive in Nevalas, and some of those choices are gonna hurt folks. You ain't got time to think about that. You just keep moving. Understand? I think so. All right. Get going then, Rania. Cora willing, you might just make it through the night. Camus, you there? Yes, I'm here. Camus, people keep mentioning Cora. What is it? Not sure. Just an expression? Yeah, I get that, but it must come from somewhere. Do a basic search through Open Web and PubWeb. Searching. 872 different definitions for Cora. Just give me the gist. In the city of Nivalis, Cora can be used in common parlance to refer to the personification of luck or fate, can be uttered as a blessing or a curse, can refer to the hacker collective or cult of the same name, can be an expletive or used as a noun to refer to the AI governing specific aspects of logistics, theology, sociology, or infrastructure of city operation. In historical context, can refer to the... Okay, that's plenty. You know, you really need to learn a bit about the word relevance, Chemis. Should I look it up? Wait, we have an incoming call. Kid, you there? Ready for another job? Sure thing. Hey, Control, what is Cora? Cora, uh, a code word used by hackers, an, an anarchist group, an expression for when you're tired of shit. Why do you ask? It doesn't matter. Just give me my next job. You're delivering to an unsanctioned street race, so watch out for Corpsec. Pick up a drive converter from Emmett's garage. Your delivery target is Never Slow Joe. Control out. Camus, are you there? Here. Camus, I want you to do a deep search for Cora. Not mainstream corp networks. Hit the deep net and the undernet. Is it important? I don't know. I see it everywhere, and there was something about Control's reaction. It means something to him. Won't we get in trouble? Oh, my head. I don't feel good. You don't have a head, Chemis. You're running on a low clock speed processor, so that's why you're struggling. Take yourself offline while you do the search. I'll be okay without you for a while. You need to swim. You remember how to do that? You need to copy yourself into the other networks and travel upstream. I remember. You're looking for Cora, remember? I want old data. Where did the name come from? That's your focus. I will try. Going now. Camus Automata now offline. You met him yet? Who do you mean? Rubric. We're not best friends. Why? He took my place. I was Lomo's number one hacker. What happened? There were lines I wouldn't cross. So you're an ethical hacker. You say that like it's an oxymoron. I, I guess it's not. I've known hackers who were good people, I guess. You want some free advice? Stay away from Rubric. Lomo will use you to get what he wants, but Rubric will be the one that cuts your future short. That's what happened to you? Not yet. He'll get me one day. I hope not. Oh, I don't doubt it.
I'm here to collect a driver converter. Drive converter? Sure. You don't know what it is, do you? Nope. It regulates the hydraulic output of the water tanks. It wears out fast, but without it, you got no grav lift. The sump builds up residue from the runoff because we got no clean water down here no more. Only the fancy overcloud hovas can run without a drive converter because they use pure H2O. You're not listening, are you? I think they need this pretty quickly. You're right, they do. You better get going. What do they do with it when they get it? They don't mess around with it. That's the main thing they do, or don't do. Once they stick the drive converter in the universal maintenance slot under the passenger seat, the servitors will fit it in on the fly. Unless they've got an old manual, in which case, you know what? Never mind. I know you're not interested. I'll let you go. See you around, kid. If you or anyone you know has augments infected by the virus COVID 2.0, you must inform oh, yeah. immediately for a mandatory surgical firmware reset. Never slow Joe. Are you part of the race? I've got a drive converter for him. They went already. I'm the start line. Can I head them off? I'm really just here to wave them off, miss. Damn it. Control, are you on the comm? What do I do? The race has already started. I'm here. Joe won't get far without that part. I'm giving you a nav point. Seems like he might have broken down already. Seriously? You have to complete this job. Remember what we told you when you signed up? No failures. Without that part, he's not even going to be able to land safely. Get to him as fast as you can. I'm not much of a racer. I'll try. You can do this, kid. Remember, straight roads are for fast cars, but the city is for fast drivers. Thanks. Hey, come back anytime. Here's what I can offer you today. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. Hey, Tico, right? Did you have any luck finding... Nari? No. I don't know what to do. When did you last see her? 
I don't know how to answer that question. Months? Years? Uh... You don't know? So where did you last see her? Back in Tokyo, during the Sakura. We had a picnic in the park. Tokyo? Sorry, I don't know the city very well. Is that below Midtown? It is a different city. You mean like a different district? When I last saw her, it was not in Nivalis. Sorry, Tico, I think you might be getting confused. There is only Nivalis. Everything west is just townships and settlements. There are no more cities. This is it. We grew up together. I've known her since I was 13. Tico, that must have been a very long time ago. I don't really understand when people talk like that. You don't understand what? Time? When people say the feelings are from long ago, they don't change. The people you cared about when you were young, have those feelings gone away? I guess not, but some of them aren't around to love anymore. I don't understand. We sat under the cherry blossoms. She ate fresh strawberries, and we watched the sun rise together every day through the summer. Then one day the sun rose, and it was too bright. Far too bright. Her family said they would have to move away. I think your memories go back very far, Tico. Nari and I grew up together. Even after the big sunrise when she moved away, all I wanted was to see her again. When she left, it was like I didn't exist anymore. When she moved to Tokyo, we would see each other less and less often. Then, one day... It is not fair. I moved here from far away too. I know how you feel. Are you alone here too? Not quite. I have one friend, maybe two. I have to keep looking for Nari. She might be looking for me too. Where will you go next? I have heard people live in the thermal vents where they use the steam to stay alive. I will look for Nari there. She always liked the bathhouses. That sounds like a good plan. Do you think the vents will be like the bathhouses back in our village? I don't think so, Tico. But you never know. slow joe no i am currently very slow joe you got my converter yeah 
Thanks, Cloudpunk. I'm gonna give you this old one. It's busted, but if you get it back to Emmett, he can fix it up and sell it on for a good handful of limbs. These converters are worth a lot of money? Well, they sure are. I owe Emmett, so you make sure it gets back to him safe here. Without the trade-in value in that busted converter, I wouldn't be able to afford this repair. My racing days would be over. Early retirement. I'd go mad. I'll get it back to Emmett. Thanks, Cloudpunk. Yeah, I can't believe you drive around the city in that piece of junk. You're braver than me, kid. What do they call you? Rania. That's no good. My name's no good? What do you suggest? On the run, Rania. What do you think? I like it. All right. On the run, Rania. I gotta go. I've got a race to win. I'll see you around. I am back. Did you hear all of that? On the run, Rania? I don't like it. He's a racer, not a poet, Camus. Are you going to take the old part back to the mechanic man? I'm not sure. If I sold it, I'd make a lot of limbs quick. Won't you get in trouble? I don't think so. The races are illegal and dangerous. Joe is an old man. Maybe it would be safer if he retired. If I give this part back to Emmett to settle his old debts, he'll keep racing. So, are you going to sell the part at some other mechanic man? Or take it to the Mr. Emmett mechanic man? You from the East, lady? Thanks. You folks from the East are good with me. Joe said to give this to you? Joe's near as old as me. Can't believe he's still racing. He said this clears his debt? Close enough. He doesn't win many races these days. 14th place doesn't award a lot of prize money. So he won't need to retire? Soon, but not today. This wipes the slate for me. I'll fix up his hova when he comes in again. That's good, I guess. See you later, Emmett. Will Joe keep racing? I guess that's up to him. I found out more about Cora. It's very confusing. Hold on to it for now. I've got something I've got to do. <gasps> Another job? No. If you're about to give me a headache worth of data, I need a coffee first.
warning. We need to stop at a gas station. I can keep going a bit longer, but if we don't top up soon, our main repulsors will go offline. Here's what I could. Thanks. I look forward to. Hey, come here a minute. I'm busy. Wait, I, I just want to talk. You're not from around here, I can tell. Because of my dark, exotic eyes, right? Give me a break. No. Because you obviously don't realize who I am. When someone around here gets my attention, they're flattered. You're right. I don't know who you are. Let me finish my coffee in peace, please. 
I'm Dynamite Simpson. Even if you haven't heard of me, you'll have heard one of my music projects for sure. If you say so. Look, I'm in need of some authentic Eastern fashions for my next music video. I see that embroidery on your sleeve. Eastern Peninsula, right? You're a music video director? I'm a record exec, video director, entrepreneur, guitar player, social media hub, brand construction technician. And you want my sleeve? Not exactly. I'd like to use the floral design in the background for my next music video. Much as your cultural appropriation of my favorite cardigan sounds tempting. Tell me a little more about your people. I really don't feel like it. I bet your people enjoy my music, even there, beyond the city. I don't think we do. Ah, perhaps playing my music requires technology beyond your means. We're not savages, we're farmers, and we have our own music. Your own music? Your own fashion? How novel. I must learn more. How could I learn about your people's music? Did you grow up playing tribal drums? What? I grew up playing Bach. So you're a musician? Not anymore. Shooting begins in five minutes. I'll learn more about your music, but for now, can I take a photo of that design? If you pay me. Perhaps, if you tell me more, what does the pattern mean? It's a catapult. For my people, it's a gift mothers give their daughters to protect them. From? Predatory men. Really? This'll be perfect in Dolly's next video. I have one in my pocket. I brought it from home. It's dried. Really? Might I have it? Show me the limbs. Here, take them. You would really allow me to have this. Sell your cultural gift from your mother? Sure, I gotta eat. Excellent. I think this will look fantastic in Dolly's hair in the music video. Pleasure doing business with you. I must go, but we might speak again. Goodbye. Oh no, your mother's flower. You gave it away. Mom didn't give that to me. I found it growing near a sewage plant. I used it as a bookmark. Does it really protect women from predatory men? It's just a dead flower, Camus. You okay? Yes, yes, I'll, I'll be fine. I just need to rest for a moment. <laughs> Maybe some food. Are you from the Eastern Peninsula? No, from the steppes. My name's Haldo. I'm, uh, was a dentist. Rania, driver. So what went wrong? Everything. Hypergentrified rent closed my office. A debt corp took my augments. The wounds didn't heal. I was in pain. I started with Jews and worked my way up the periodic table of painkillers till I got here. So now I could barely see. Take some money for food. Thank you, Rania. Your people are always decent. You know, uh, I always wanted to see the Eastern Peninsula one day. Maybe you will. <laughs> what a lovely smile you have when you tell a kind lie, Rania. Excuse me, I see you sell old... stuff. Do you know what this is? Pass it here, let's see. 
Hmm. Oh my. What is it? I thought maybe an old music storage. Music? No, not at all. This is a game. An old one at that. Where did you find it? Actually, it was near some trash. No, I don't believe it. So it's an antique. Oh yes, this was played on a Spectrum home computer, 48K. You needed an interface to make the joystick work, Kempstern or Protec. Otherwise, you had to play on the rubber keys. Even the words I understood in that sentence didn't make sense. It's like this, you see. You put this tape into a tape recorder first and... Nope, still no clue. Long ago, information was stored on magnetic tapes. You see the strips here? These wound round playheads or something like that. No one knows exactly how it operated now, but we can feed this into our comprehender and it gives us executable code. So this was a game people played on a screen? Oh yes, it would take a long time to upload the data to memory and the executable data itself is tiny. It's hard to comprehend how our progenitors managed to work within such strict memory constraints. You're really into this stuff, aren't you? I'm interested in the technology, sure. But what really fascinates me is this game. You controlled a little sprite. You walked along a street and you punched everyone you came across. We believe these old games were deeply symbolic, like Sisyphus with the rock. So they were morality lessons? We collectors believe so. I think every one of these classic games can teach us a lesson. What did punching people in the street teach us? Metaphorically, it is telling us that we cannot simply fight urban decay through physical force. You see, in this game, when you win, you start again. So the cycle repeats. Exactly. So through the game, we learn that the violence is entertainment, but the creator of the game seeks to tell us that violence is also pointless. These old games were pretty deep. How did this end up lying on the street? There's plenty of other street vendors who are collectors like me. One of them, Old Sinclair, he died last week. And you're not really allowed to own this stuff. If Corpsec catches you... Oh, I'm sorry about Mr. Sinclair. He was in the zone that fell into the sea last month. Can't be helped. You should keep your eye out for more of these. They may be scattered all over the city. You'll pay me for them? I sure will, as long as you keep it quiet. In fact, I can even show you this one if you like. It has a two-player mode. We can punch people in the street together. Maybe another time. Just the limbs are fine. I saw you looking at me from over there. I was just going to ask if this was the only coffee place in the zone. I'm from out of town, and this coffee is... Like hova oil? Well, I was going to say it's below average, but yeah. No, this is the only place. I've been coming here since I was in my teens. You look like you're still in your teens. It's the coffee. It's done in my growth. So, you're actually... 75. Well, Grandpa, it was nice to meet you. Uh, hey, uh, wait up. What's your name? I'm Rania. I drive deliveries. And I've got another job coming up, so... Do you... uh, want to do something? Are you asking me on a date? 
No, I mean, all right, we could just do something and see what happens. Do something? How specific? We could... Come on, coffee guy. What could we do? Bowling. Ew. Shooting? I know a range downtown. It lets you fire the big pulse rifles. I don't like pulse rifles or any guns, really. They tend to get aimed at people a lot. We only shoot targets. I believe the humans and the targets can coexist peacefully. Uh, what about pizza? Better. What kind? Artichoke and Avo from the new hipster place uptown. Ooh, a swing and a miss. Sorry, coffee guy. Maybe some other time. If I see you here again, I'll have thought of something you like, Rania. We'll see. Welcome to Neo's Neo Cafe. I'm Neo. What can I get you? That's pretty sweet. Thanks for this, Neo. Have a spectacular day. Subretinal VR that directly interacts with your Hello. system. Hello. Is that you? Camus, why are you calling me on the comm? I'm on a coffee break here. I have a reason. Is the reason that you don't like being alone? Yes, that is it. Is it okay? It's fine. I'm glad of the company. Why do you need the coffee? I've never worked night shift before, Camus. Coffee creates the illusion that I'm actually still awake. You wouldn't understand. You don't sleep. I sleep. I guess you go offline and recompile your source code. That's a bit like sleeping. I sleep. Okay, I heard you. Tell me what you found out about Cora. I found three different types of things about... Camus, this data analysis and retrieval, it's not that you can't do it, it's just it's a bit... dry. Why don't we let the generic automata take care of this part? You can go offline for a bit. Sleep! Sure. Custom personality Camus offline. Generic automata reinstated. All right, Mr. Personality. Tell me what we know about Cora now. Three distinct data points of origin for Cora. Two, deprecated and accessible only via the underweb. Warning, your automata was detected accessing this information and your identity was compromised. Shit. Well, too late to do anything about it now. Tell me what you found. Give me the official data first. Cora is a term colloquially used by citizens of Nivalis to refer to the combination of AI and mechanical systems, which manage the logistical and maintenance systems operating throughout the city. I knew that much. Go on. As an anthropomorphism of a mercurial personality, it is unclear if Cora exhibits a form of sentience or sapience. <laughs> Best data suggests Cora is fundamentally inconceivable by human intelligence, existing just beyond the event horizon of biological minds. Not helpful at all. Why do people keep talking about Cora then? Day-to-day -day usage of Cora in conversation invokes the term in the same way one might talk about fate, luck, or serendipity. Example? I checked my balance and I'm all out of credits. Cora knows where it all went. There are two more data points for Cora? Yes, one from City Archive in a defunct data pool called the Internet. Another from a paper-based text called The Exegesis, a pseudo-historical book scanned and OCR'd 109,572.75 days ago. Read me the extract of the exit whatever. Reigning atop a hierarchy of smaller automatons, VIs, androids, and machines, Cora is the last of the 12 founders. Complex AIs that formed an advisory council for the human rulers of the city. Why did the founders fail? Did their source code encounter insurmountable logical errors? 
Or, worst of all, did the founders choose to abandon humanity? And if so, will Korra soon make that same choice? What's your confidence rating on the accuracy of this information? 11.40%. Higher than I thought. Does everyone in the city know this stuff but me? Korra is commonly discussed, appearing in up to 0.8% of all communication, but little substantive, verifiable data exists as to its nature. Read me the last data, the one from the internet. Cora, Computer Operated Recycling Agent. That's it? I don't know how this relates to hackers or AI. No further data available. Make a copy of that exegesis thing to local storage, encrypted. If I get a data violation, I don't want to lose access. And bring Camus back online. Activating Custom Automata Personality, Camus. Did you find out about Cora? More or less. I don't know what I was hoping for. Will you get food too? Not hungry. Hey Camus, have a look at the cafe menu. Do you see all the different types? If you drank coffee, what type would you order? Uh, donut coffee? That's not really... Oh no. I said something dumb. Actually Camus, I think donut coffee sounds pretty great. I, uh, found this. I thought I should hand it in to the authorities. Or someone who might know what to do with it. Ma'am, what is this? I don't know. I found it. I think it might be... Give it to me. Now. Yes, I was just going to. I came to you. Is this some kind of scam? You know what? I'm just going to leave. What does this button do? No idea. Bye then. Stay here. I am going to get to the bottom of this. You go ahead. I have no idea what that button does, though, so for safety's sake, I suggest you... Mm, nothing happened. Did you just press that? I literally just said... Nothing happened again. Stop pressing the button. Ma'am, I'm going to ask you to step back, please. Fine. I don't want to be around you while you press a big red button on what looks a lot like a detonator anyway. Wait. Something happened. Ugh. A light came on. There's words on the screen. What does it say? I can't read it. Let me see. Here. I can read this. It's Arabic. And? It says, please don't press this button again. Oh. I swear, that's what it says. All right, then. Well, I'd better ask my supervisor about this. Uh, please move along, ma'am. Does your supervisor speak Arabic? No. Why? No reason. Driver 14FC, are you out of your hava? I was on a break. There are no breaks for me or for you. Have you seen the vids? No, why? More accidents in Sector 21. No, uh, Sector 23. Or is it 21? Bombings? Not sure. This is bad for us. We've lost more drivers this week than in the past year. Everything okay, Control? I don't know, kid. I don't know. What's your real name? I'm tired of numbers. Rania. I'm gonna look out for you, Rania. Things will get better after tonight. I promise. We just need to get through this one night. What's your name, Control? I'm not supposed to say. Goddamn. Is something going wrong over there? You sound... It's all wrong here. I just... Maybe I'll tell you after this job. Okay. What you got for me? In Gallows Row, there's an old escalator called the Ascension. Someone at the base wants to surrender a package of their belongings. Where does the escalator go? Trust me, Rania. This job will be much easier for you if you don't ask that question again. You're looking for a guy named Gil. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah? Enjoy your coffee. All I got is a bottle of sake stashed in my desk drawer. And tonight, I'm having a drink. 
If they're not happy with that, they can fucking fire me. Cheers. That's a headache, Control.
You from the East, lady? Thanks. You folks from the East. One slice, please. Oh, wait, are those real cherries? Well, they ain't holograms, lady. Yeah, but where would you get real cherries in Novalis? Lots of places. Oh, orchards up in the spire, growing beds down in the vents, one of those labs that grow cultured retro fruit. I'm not talking hypothetically here. Where did you get those cherries? Wherever you like, lady. I find the best way to enjoy the flavor comes from tasting with your imagination. And I find the best way to avoid food poisoning is to know where my cherries come from. I swear, these taste exactly like cherries. That is not a normal thing to say about actual cherries. You want a slice or not? Yes. N no. I can't decide. Have you even tasted real cherries before? Back home, they were my favorite. The Eastern Peninsula? Yeah. Well, you'll love this pie. A genuine slice of home. What do you say? No, actually I'm good. Suit yourself, country girl. Change your mind, did you? I knew you'd come back. I'll probably be back. Much better than you thought, right? Interested in having your photo taken with this magnificent creature? Just 100 limbs. No. Wouldn't you like to know his name? He is Norman. Hi, Norman. Is he a real bird? Norman isn't a bird. He's a falcon. A real one? Well, he's not a hologram. But is he a real falcon or is he artificial? Ah, I understand your question now. You must think this is based on an animal. This is not. It is a unique creation. A falcon. I've seen falcons before. No, you must be mistaken. Perhaps you have seen a sparrow. They are very similar. You see, I specialize in chimeras. What are chimeras? Well, you know, there's a huge market for artificial animals, especially those that are rare or extinct. Chimeras are different. They are artificial animals which uh, never existed, created from the imagination of man. But I told you I've seen a real falcon. Eh? Ah, where? Well, they're extinct now, I guess, but I saw them all the time when I was young. I'm from the Eastern Peninsula. They would circle around the farm in the summer, uh, until the big dust storms hit back in the Year of the Dragon. Listen, lady, I need you to do me a favor. Uh, okay. What? Please leave, and don't tell anyone that there are real falcons, huh? Sure, but why does it make any difference? When people know they're looking at something that once existed instead of something that never could, they get depressed. And sad people don't spend money.
Thanks. You folks from the... Sure, you got a minute. Who doesn't have a minute? It's uh, less than 60 seconds. Near enough, right? <laughs> Jimmy is the name. Jimmy, roll high. I don't really have a minute. You're uh, wondering about the hands, right? <laughs> you gotta know. Everyone does. <laughs> they, they always ask me about the hands. I always say the same thing. I, I do. I always say if the shuffle wasn't working, they wouldn't have needed to break them. I'm right, right? Were you cheating at cards? Roll high. Wasn't I clear before when I says my name? <laughs> sure I was. You was listening. You're a clever lady. I got in trouble because I could roll double sixes every single time. Really? Near enough. Near enough that they broke my hand for it. Then when I learned with the other, they broke that too. Now, if I could just get some limbs for augments, I know I could make the money back for you at the table. I'm not interested. Sorry. You'll be back. They always comes back. I got the skills, lady. <laughs> You're gonna invest in them one day. I'm telling you. Here's what I... Thanks. I look forward to... Are you the delivery person? Rania, yeah, I'm to take your package. It's everything. My limbs, comm, holocrons, augments, everything I own. Make sure my family gets it. Just drop it in the post. I can't leave the queue or I'll lose my place. Are you sure about this? Yeah, a chance to see the spire. I, I gotta take the shot. I get to go above the clouds. Is it safe? Sure, yeah, of course. Okay then, good luck, I guess. Hey, thanks. Maybe I'll see you around. Maybe. Hey, Rania, you met 
that guy going on the Ascension? Is he really going through with it? He says the Ascension takes him to the Spire. It sure does. And no further. What do you mean? It's an escalator to nowhere. It just ends. Then what? Well, then he falls a few miles down into the sea. Who would build an escalator that goes nowhere? You think everything in the city is logical? Well, look around, Rania. None of this makes sense. The city AI has gone mad. He said it was safe. Before he gave you all his possessions? He knew? He knew. I don't get it. You lived outside Navalos, right? So you've, you've seen the sky. You've got that memory. I've never seen the sky. I can live without it. But imagine you'd seen it just once. What would you do to see it again? <sighs> How's the sake control? You don't drink, right? You should try it sometime, Rania. When things are going wrong, it's a great way to keep yourself trapped in the long right now. Are you a poet now, Control? You know it. What should I do with his possessions? Well, he stiffed us on the bill. His payment was rejected. So if you got anything from him, you should return it to a Cloudpunk delivery chute nearby to cover his debt. What about his family? Let me make this as clear as I can, Rania. I don't know if he gave you something or if he gave you nothing. But I knew if he gave you something, I'd have to tell you to return it to Cloudpunk HQ. Control out. Uh-huh. He sounded... different. Are we going to take Gil's things back to Cloudpunk HQ? Well, everything's packaged and postmarked. So, if we dropped them at the mail office, they'd get back to his family and Cloudpunk would never know. But maybe it would be good for us to give it to Cloudpunk? And if we broke the rules, we could get in trouble. Or get Mr. Control in trouble. Quiet for now, Chemist. I have to think.
I hate doing this. Being a delivery driver? No, paying off a dead man's debts. At least we won't get in trouble. I hate this city. Are you there? Yeah. You don't sound good, Control. What? Well, I'm fine. Uh, if I could just sleep. I used to be able to sleep, you know. Are you sure you're okay? What is wrong with him? I think he's had some drinks. He sounds strange. Like he is confused. Uh, broadcasting nav point. Collect the package, 14FC. Uh, get on with it. Who from? Where am I going? Always questions from you. Just do your goddamn job. Control out. Standard Cloudpunk Hava damage penalty fine. Thanks. You folks from the...
Welcome to my humble restaurant in the rain. What can I get you? Thank you. Don't let all the rain... Here's what I could... Thanks. I look forward to... I'm the delivery driver. I'm here to pick up something. Yes, you're here to take our original corbet. Huh? <laughs> it's a painting, dear. You'll be taking me and Mr. Butler, too. I don't think I'm supposed to take passengers. What is all this nonsense? Mr. Octavius Butler, this was all supposed to be arranged. Didn't you tell the company that we simply can't let this painting out of our sight? I did, my love, I did. There must be some confusion. I'm sure our young driver friend will consent to take us. It won't be a problem and we'd hate to raise a complaint. Is that not right, young miss? I guess so. Let's be going then. I want to see our new apartment as soon as possible. Apparently, Trisha and the Joneses have moved in next door already. And I don't want her spreading gossip about our new home and how it still smells like smoked fish. My, this is cozy. I've never been in a vehicle like this. Very retro. I agree. Very nice indeed. Do you understand us, young lady, or should we speak slower? I understand fine. Dear, you must be very curious, are you not? How a woman like me and an android like Mr. Octavius Butler met. Sure. <laughs> Well, I can tell from your accent that you're not from the city, but we're quite enlightened here, you know. Isn't that right, Mr. Octavius Butler? That's right, my love. Some might say that Mr. Octavius Butler is human passing, but I don't care about that. I love him for who he is inside, not what his outer skin is made of. It's a polymer plastic. <laughs> oh, you are... What was I saying? Oh yes, we met at a charity fundraiser. We both work for Life Corp. I'm in HR, and Mr. Octavius Butler is in acquisitions. We had executive offices next door. We started meeting for coffee, and one thing led to another. Wow. And now, just a week until our fifth anniversary, we're on our way to our new home. Aren't you happy for us? Uh, yeah, definitely. We're suddenly happier than the family that's moving out. Oh, don't start all that again. This area is up and coming now. The people living there couldn't afford it, and they wouldn't fit in either. With hypergentrification, they're forced out instantly instead of being pushed out over months and years. It's a short, sharp shock, but it's for the best for everyone. People. you against free markets don't really believe in freedom what 
freedom does this bring to the people who can't plan for a future? That's just life in Navalis. If you don't like it, go live somewhere else. Not everyone is suited for life in the city. Some people need to live here? Well, maybe in the nice places, but who needs to live in the filth of the marrow? No one stays there without good reason. And the reason is they all dream of getting rich with some scheme or other to make their way up to the spire. That's the Navalis dream. Our society has a million slots and each must be filled. Every time someone moves up a peg, someone fills in the gap behind them. And every time someone at the bottom slips, where do they go? I read in the holocrons yesterday that the most common food in the marrow is now roach meat kebabs, noodles with rat. Those kinds of people love street food. No offense, dear. None taken. I love a maggot pizza. We're almost at our destination. Splendid. You see, Mr. Octavius Butler, look at this fabulous place. Different and together, but separate. That's how we exist together in this city without all the systems breaking down. That's what they used to say about androids, you know. Oh, don't hearken back to your revolutionary days again. You have rights now, just like humans. Androids are just a part of society, low and high. We are all the same, you know. As long as we all have the same bank balance. Well, you're welcome to give away all your money to the orphans and the rat children. You can come and stay in my penthouse as long as you take off your shoes and have a shower before you touch me. Very generous of you, my love. Have either of you ever actually been to the Marrow? Oh, heavens no, dear. I have family in the Spire, and Mr. Octavius Butler is from a very distinguished line of androids. He's descended from the very first Korra models. Wait, what does that mean? Why do you mention Korra? It's just a saying, isn't it, Mr. Octavius Butler? In a way... It means he's refined, dear, just like me. We have no prejudice here. We are very enlightened people in the city, you know. Yeah, you said that before. Do you think the family will still be there when we arrive? I shouldn't think so. Two hours of rent at peak rate and they'd be bankrupt. I'm sure they're long gone, either moved on or forced out by Corpsec for violating their lease. I bet they'll be somewhere nice. Not everyone ends up in the marrow, you know. Maybe one day they'll seize the means of production down there. <laughs> oh, you are witty. The production of mold burgers and rat salad. No offense, dear. Yeah, none taken. Thank you for getting us to our destination, driver. It's been fun to drive in a vehicle that's much more rustic than our limo. Our painting made it here safely, too. And what a lovely neighborhood. Quite so. Visit us at Peterwitz Watching Clock Shop. We have the finest tech in all Novalis. Thanks, Mr. Witz. As the MP3 said to the wave, adios.
So what is your star sign, please? I don't know. Why do you ask? I am instigating a mating ritual. Tell me, did it hurt? Did what hurt? When you hurtled to Earth from orbit? Do you mean when I fell from heaven? Affirmative. I require an answer, humanoid. I'm not really interested. Sorry. I will find the required combination of vocalizations to entice you for romantic relations. I'm no expert on romance, but even I know that's not how it works. Incorrect. Please listen carefully to the following statement. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I would require the vowel U and the vowel I to be contiguous. Do you want some advice? Affirmative. If you want to talk to someone you like, try asking their name. And introduce yourself, too. I am Douglas. Name, please. Nice to meet you, Douglas. I am Rania. Maybe try to ask questions in a less aggressive way. Rania, please touch my carbon fiber endoframe. Why would I do that, Douglas? Because it's made of boyfriend material. Okay, that is a little funny. But I'm afraid you're not what I'm looking for, Douglas. And I'm not even looking anyway. Very well. I shall continue to be alone. Maybe you can try this dating agency, Douglas. Please, I am not so desperate. I am currently rated highly desirable in my range. Are there many other available androids in your range? May I have the flyer, please? Perhaps I will try the dating agency. Good luck, Douglas. Thank you, Rania. I can afford you a reward. You can have my optimal dating ritual instigation line, or some credits. Hmm, the line is tempting. I think I'll take the limbs. Here's what I can offer you today. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. Nestor Cray is wishing you a good day, stranger. No That'll Nestor Cray. Here's what I can offer you today. Thanks. I look forward to seeing Welcome to Ashima Raymond and Seafood. My name is Eddie. What can I do for you? Thanks. Have a nice day.
Here's what I can offer you today. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. Nestor Cray. That'll be all. Nestor Cray. I'm not a taxi driver. I didn't like them. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't think they would like automata. Or dogs. Or anyone poorer than them. Less educated, less well-connected, less stuck up. Different in any way. But one of them was an android. I know, Camus. I have a question. Go ahead. Did you really eat maggot pizza? No, Camus. I was playing along. Oh, a joke. I laugh at them. Me too. It's all we can do. Hmm. So... It is very quiet. It makes me nervous. We can listen to the ad streams if you like. Are they interesting? Sure, if you want to learn all about everything we can never afford. What about... music? No thanks. We can check the weather feed if you like. If you want it, I can put it on. Fine. But we're not tuning into any of the Corp music feeds. They're all ads and Corp-approved pop stars. They sound so empty, hollow. How do we find other feeds? I only know about Corp channels. The radio, Camus. The what? An electromagnetic wave of a frequency between about 300 kilohertz and 300 megahertz. You can tune that in, right? Yes, I have found it. I'm hearing it now. How strange. It's the easiest way to broadcast without the corpse shutting you down. They've been playing music with radio waves for thousands of years, you know. How did you know? Mom told me if I ever visited Novalis, I should tune in to the pirate radio. She said it was the only good thing about the city. Go ahead, play something over the speakers. What about this? I like it. Maybe something a bit more relaxed, though. I know this one. I like the bit that goes ba ba ba. Yeah, it's nice, Camus. But let's see what else there is. Oh, oh, what about this? Do we know who this is? No, it is radio. Right, sorry, dumb question. Do you like this one more? I like this one. I like it too, but keep searching. There is one more. Yes, this is perfect. Mom would have liked this. We have a new job coming in. From Control? He normally calls. The checksum confirms it's Cloudpunk. I have a nav point. Let's go then. 